Hi folks, welcome to LMP3 at Virginia International Raceway. So let's crack on with it. Right then, VIR done and dusted with the fast lap. This is not my most confidence uh, of tracks around here. And this thing, particularly on the fixed setup with traction control, trying to save you every five seconds, is a bit of a pain in the rear. Anyway, that's a lot of mumbo jumbo stuff there. So let's get rid of that. Input tab for you. We're using the fixed i rating setup. So I expect the open series to be much faster around here. And uh, the track temp of 130 Fahrenheit, which is nice and toasty. And a moderate usage of 29%, which I usually set at 44, which I've done that wrong. So I'm on low usage. So bear that in mind if you are on medium or high usage you can have a little bit more rubber on the track which might equal a bit more lap time as well lap i'm actually going to show you is lap 11 quite a short circuit quite a, quite a short, short practice section i did around here um i was getting frustrated with myself a little bit particularly because the track control it was frustrating but i'm going to show you my fastest which is a 144-122. And the reason I'm going to show you that one, because I know there is a lot more time to come for my lap time. My optimal right there is a 143-494. I definitely can get into the 43s, so, and I will point out where I'm losing time, where I can get more time into it. I will show you around the lap guide, because that's why I do the breakdown lap of where to point things out. Um, talking about that, um, OLAP. Uh, OLAP B-Lap to learn sheet replay file will all be on my Discord for you and I'm also using Garage61 which is an online telemetry tool which is very very useful for these track guides uh, not affiliated with them but I just think it's a very very useful thing to have otherwise I think that's about everything um, going to be an interesting week around here with open session and uh, the multi-class around here it's quite a tight circuit it is a big circuit but it is quite tight so I don't know how often we will come around to lap them I'm guessing it's going to be like Road America in that respect where we might only lap them once but if you're coming up through the S's they're going to be limited. The GT4s are going to be limited on grip through these S's, whereas the LMP3s are not. So they're going to be rocketing through here. So just make sure you pick your overtakes timely and safely and preferably on a bit of straight track and you should be golden. Otherwise, yeah, have a good week and uh, try and see the checker flag is the main, uh, main aim of the game. Um, yeah, enough of me waffling. Let's crack on with the guide. Right, VIR and its infamous turn one. Be careful down here. It is quite tricky because it is a lot, lot tighter than it looks. You've got a nice big wide track. And then as you get to the 200 marker there, you want to start breaking nice and early. Seems very, very early on this. Really get the car slowed down because this turn one is tighter than it actually looks. Try and clip the apex on the way through. Not too much because it is quite bumpy. And then feeding the power nicely as well. Turn two is an extension of the exit. So just keep the car swinging around nicely and you'll be absolutely golden. But yeah, there'll be a lot of crashes there. So be cautious. Now this corner, I can gain a little bit more time. So at the end of the curving there on the left hand side, we want to start braking. Bring the car over to the right hand side of the circuit and then turn in. I want to turn in a little bit earlier because I need to be on power a bit earlier there to get that corner very nice. It is very sweet when you get that corner correct and it is nice, but we need to break very early. At the end of the off-ramp bit there, or whatever you want to call it, break again, and again, scrub the speed off. We need to take this really slowly because we need to maximize the next few corners. So stay mid-circuit. Try and take this as full throttle as you can. 
because it will help you going forward. Short shift into third at this point to get around this one, and you will need a lift because otherwise you will just understeer and oversteer and go over that horrible bit of bump there on the left, and it will be carnage. But now we can stretch our legs. You can actually be full throttle through all these S's. If you are catching up to the GT4s in the open series, be very careful through here because they will be limited on grip going through these S's. So just be cautious and make sure you get your overtakes done safely. But all the way around that, and then as we come over the top, there is a little crest. As we go over the crest, then down, we want to start braking. Keep it in fifth gear. Nice dab of the brakes. A little bit of curb, not too much because it's quite bumpy. And be careful of the exit there. Don't get on throttle unless you know you're going to get on the exit. Three marker here, just on the uphill. Nice and easy to hit. Now, I can gain more space here because look at my brake. I lift off the brake and I'm sort of not wanting, I don't know, I'm not sure what to do at this point because getting this corner wrong is so horrible. You see, I take a little bit too much curb, car's a little bit unsettled, and I'm not on full throttle. So, probably go a little bit faster in there, stay on the brakes longer, get the car slowed down, get it turned, pin the accelerator, and get out of there with a better exit because you'll carry all that speed all the way down here uphill. Slipstream will be a thing probably about when you get 0.5 behind and you'll get a good slipstream. Otherwise, we're looking for the two marker out there. Brake as much as you can on the uphill section, lift off the brakes, get the car turned for the left kink, and then slowly on the brakes again. Again, this is one of those corners that is deceptive. It is very, very tight. I'd like to be a little bit more close to the apex because that'll enable you to get on throttle a little bit earlier. Around here, you can have a little bit of a constant lift just in case because it's downhill and slightly off camber, so the rear end can get a little bit sketchy. The curbing on the right-hand side is our, uh, just that ends is our turning point for this one. Loads of curb on the left. Break into the apex here. A little bit of a cheeky tickle on the curb there. And be careful about running wide. Do not run wide. You will disappear off into Narnia. And that grass out there is massive. And it takes about three years to come back to the track and try and find it. That's kind of the motto about VIR. If you go off grass, if you go off track and go onto the grass, you are knackered. You are disappearing, and it is really, really, really big circuit. This is to be honest, uh, off tracks as well. So yeah, bear that in mind as you're going around. But that's us across the line in a 144, 122. Uh, as mentioned, I did record this when I was ill, so I'm slightly confident that people will be in the 43s quite quickly on the fixed setup, and I'm expecting high 41s, 42 in the open setup. The open setup will be much quicker around here, uh, given that long straight as well they'll be quicker down there and i think that'll have better downforce through the s as well but otherwise hope this helps you out to try and find your line and hopefully you can be faster than me on this one otherwise don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one